It, it's like that. The greater the affliction, the more you have, the more power, the better. <laughs> There's nothing more to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> We come and hear it again and again, and then we forget. And then we think, oh, we write to the train and say, oh, it's, I have this sadness and this depression, and what, what can I do? I mean, I know it for myself, like years into, and then I think, wow, something's wrong. But then again, to see that's the fuel, the power fuel, beneficial fuel, everything that we feel, every moment. Really, and then if it's negative, the more negative, that's what we label negative, the better, the more power. And that, that seeps, in, seeps in like one moment at a time, step by step. And then it gets more clear that that power that we feel, that heartbreak, when we read the news, the fear reading, the, reading news, seeing what is happening, around the world, or just in our cities or in our families, that heartbreak is the fuel to be of great benefit. When we hear talk like with Candace, you just want to stand up and change the world. You just want to go out here and scream it everywhere and just say, hey, what are you doing here? Listen to this talk. <laughs> yeah. And have everybody invite. We could have this talk all over Bristol. Let's rent like 100 venues at one time. That would be amazing. <laughs> Let's do that next week and then show it everywhere. That's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know where that comes. But perfect knowledge and power for the benefit of all. It's spontaneously responsive. And it is only in relying on open intelligence for short moments many times until it becomes obvious. Like we hear it again and again and again and again. And only this one short moment, there's perfect knowledge. And this perfect knowledge allows us to be responsive, powerful, creative for the benefit of all. And we need everyone. So we don't have time to think we need to earn money in ways that aren't of benefit to all. I'm not saying that it isn't of benefit to all, but generally ask yourself what is of most benefit to all. And this will guide your actions and guide how you use your time, energy and resources in the most optimal way. Because after hearing a talk like this, you really, you're fired up, but it goes directly into the heart. You know, you see Candace, and, but you, you hear the words. It's really, it's, it's wisdom words. It's exactly, you know, it touches on who you are and what we are capable of. We are power born. We, we have the power to change the world. We, we don't want to sit anymore and just see what is happening. We just want to do something. And that power, after talk like this, you feel it directly. And then let's do something for the benefit of all. And then things like the afflictions, like what was that again? Then they become completely open, pure benefit. Even if you wake up completely afflicted, even in 10 years, it, it, it doesn't matter. Like it, it is just the fuel for benefit. And that, in my experience, once that penny dropped, that it isn't, that nothing's wrong with these this is just with this beneficial energy with all these things that go on in the stomach here and you know wherever we have the sensations or any kinds of thoughts or emotions then we see we are powerful of benefit and that's our nature that's our birthright like you heard we have to we step up into that completely without needing to do anything now, you don't have to dress a certain way. You don't have to get something. You don't have to think, OK, I need another year. It's just right here. And that, we claim that. We, we recognize that. And the Four Mainstays, that's how it works with the Four Mainstays. Just completely rely on the Four Mainstays. 
when you're all here, that's the first step. That's where the four mainstays are. The trainings just confirm it again and again. Because we're just so used to thinking anything else about ourselves and limiting ourselves. We heard that again and again, how we limit ourselves. And now we hear again and again how powerful we are. And you know it. It's nothing to think about. It's nothing to understand. Like I could speak German here, and you'd know. <laughs> if I could speak German. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I mainly teach in English, so that flows better. <laughs> um, yes. So, um, but it, the, what 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 it means is that it's the transmission power. It's the power of open intelligence. You know, you walk into this room, and it's clear. Obviously, when you hear talk like this, then you know. You don't have to think about it. How does that work? How am I powerful? How do I get money? I have no money. I have no job. I have no friends. You know, like all these. <laughs> but then, you know, you see the power. You, it's there. And all these data are pure like space, pure benefit, air in air. If you make it into anything else, that's just what it is in that moment. You just make it into something. You use your power to make it into something. But see, like, you let it be as it is, and it's just like a line drawn in water. Like, it's gone. <laughs> and the self-release again and again, and you see that everything opens completely up. It's everyone. You could go out there, you tell it to someone. Anybody who's open will recognize it right away. Anybody who hears this talk about civil rights, birthright, it'll be like, I mean, who would say, no, I don't want that? It's like, it, it wouldn't, that wouldn't happen. So it's about our responsiveness of being of benefit to all, going out there and, and living it. I mean, yesterday, the fine dining, it was so, sitting there, I couldn't, be, couldn't believe. I could just think of how life is, it gets just better and better. Being this week in, in, in Bristol, it really gives me, when I see everyone like this, I think, wow, this is the power to change the world. It, it can't be any other way, sitting around a conference table and thinking what we could do. It's this power of people stepping up and being responsive, allowing everything to be as it is being responsive for the benefit of all. In this, but there was nothing there. We were, you, we're sitting here, that connectiveness and the harmony and, and the fine dining yesterday, it was just a, a total power and unity and talents for the benefit of all. Everything to put into the context of the benefit of all, everything you're doing your thoughts, your speech, your actions, your strengths, gifts, and talents. Everyone has amazing strengths, gifts, and talents devoted completely to the benefit of all. And the Four Mainstays is just that. Sometimes we think, what is this Four Mainstays? What are they doing in the organization there? And will it work? Will it end in war at one point against other? But see, everything, open intelligence, is always entirely beneficial. So the perspective is beneficial. The, the fears of authorities, and this is our experience, organizations and authorities not relying on open intelligence, it is disappointing and it is scary. When we look at our own mind and then relying on the descriptions is scary because we never know what the next thought is. And when we experienced hatred and all the things we want to do, and when people don't know and then act out on that, you can see how, what happens. So our example of relying on the fundamental uh, definition of all descriptions, the fundamental nature of everything, then we know where the power is and that we share with others. And there we gain trust in open intelligence being entirely beneficial, and that trust in ourselves. 
then we can see how people relying on open intelligence benefit is built in. And you trust it in yourself and you trust it in others. That's how we build communities, it's grassroots communities around the world. It can't be one person doing it. It has to be everyone stepping up a grassroots movement, people speaking up, stepping up for who they are and what they want for the world. And not thinking it has to be somebody else doing it and stepping up in that way. And this is how the communities come about in all, all the cities. I mean, Bristol is an amazing ex example of... And it always starts with, like Candace was one person going to a meet, meeting or having a room and speaking up. Amazing. Now look at that. I remember the times when there were no communities in Europe. It's amazing. And now everywhere, when you look at Google Maps, there are everywhere the lights, lights of power. <laughs> and it's just about, that's why every single person is important to use your power and your strengths, gifts and talents for the benefit of all. And just, you know, we were, yeah, we go out and we meet people and they see a group of people and they're just attracted. Like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> who are you? And, it's unavoidable, I have to come to the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and if we show these, these talks around the city, I'm amazing, now I'm really, I think we should do it. <laughs> and fly, I said, you know, we can balance view Bristol, it's a whole meeting. And, um, and then it's just one, you know, like, and then there are, all over Europe, all over the world, and on all continents, people coming together, standing up, and not participating anymore in conventional ways of living that lead to what we see in the world. So that doesn't work, so it has to be radical. But again, it's so natural. You know, you think you're radical and natural, because it's who we are. We want to just get along together as we're doing here. It's amazing, you come, you come to Bristol, even if you come to for the first time, you think you're at home. It's amazing. And then you go to the next community, to come to the center, to Goa, or to, to Sweden, many communities. I don't want to list all the countries, there are many, many countries. And, <laughs> and you come in and you're, and that's the warmth of who we are, the openness of who we are. It's so, you know, we think we could just get that in our family and maybe some friends, and it's just totally expanded to the world. And that's how we can live. Imagine the world, seven billion people. We all come to an open meeting. <laughs> Where do we do that? And, um, <laughs> but um, it's like a, a complete um, expansion of our mind and intelligence. Use refusing to use reified intelligence and refusing to live a life that, that creates suffering. We just want to end suffering. And we want to give every single human being on earth this birthright and show that we can step up and we don't have to think we've lost it. It's like, it, it's the dignity of every, everyone that we emanate and we, we empower in everyone. So, and, and that's, when I look at my life, that, that's all, that's the only direction I go and I see everyone here and, it's in, and, and then you know that it works because everyone here just wants the benefit of all. And the Four Mainstays, they support that. When we have doubts which come up, definitely, we heard just, it can be afflictions until whenever. Doubts, fears of what's happening. Use the Four Mainstays and you'll see how it opens up into powerful benefit. That's all you want. The fears of what's ha what, what is going on for yourself or the organization is your own desire that there's real benefit. 
So that's it's it's our innate desire. So yeah, it's amazing. This week again inspired me so much. Seeing everyone like this, I feel like wow, it's it's the greatest gift. My gratitude to Candace just stepping up. You know, there was nobody. She just stepped up, said that's what is needed. Like she spoke today, and total gratitude and gratitude to everyone. Like stepping up even if there's pushback mm -hmm. because we know but we can only know it in our experience that's why we have the four mainstays environment to get to know ourselves in with that experience of open intelligence power we can't really just think of it we have to really see it in our own direct experience see it in our lives but one short moment just right now, you recognize it. And then you see it in others. That's why the community is so powerful. And for me, so inspiring to see. <laughs>